frogging, but it looked like a froggy little pond. So I'm going to give it a shot, and then I got my real sonar scale and real sonar pliers in case I catch any big fish, in case I need to use pliers to get the fish out. I've got the GoPro on, and I'm also going to take the camera that's in my hand to take some pictures, get some good high-quality video if I catch a good one. All right, guys, I'm headed down, walking towards the pond now. So I've heard there's some big fish in here. We're about to find out. The lake is looking real nice. We're about to catch some hogs. I'm just going to low-key keep my stuff and my body hidden behind this big tree. First lure of choice, we're going to go with the Green Pumpkin New Tech Blitz Crazy Jig. Oh, look at that. I've already made a friend. 20 minutes later. There is no fish in that pond. At least I couldn't find any anyway. So, I'm going to get pull up Google Maps, drive around for a bit, see if I can find another pond. is all this stuff? Looks like someone ran over a smurf. Alright, I have now gone on to a one lane gravel road. Still looking for a pond to fish. For some reason I just do not feel safe right now. Made it through the bridge. I've officially made it to uh, the middle of freaking nowhere. Alright guys, found a new pond on Google Maps. Gonna try to sneak over to it and see if there's any fish in it. Hmm, that's always encouraging. Get into the pond and it looks like the water is super clear. Oh my gosh, it's all blue. They must uh, put chemicals in it or something to uh, keep the moss away, but we're gonna start with the, uh, the old Sanko, number one pond fishing bait. Let's see if we can catch them. Gonna give the frog a try. I've got, oh, got one. Oh yeah, baby, first cast on the frog. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, it's a great fish. It's a really good one. Here we go. Oh yeah, she smoked it. She smoked the frog, baby. Here we go. Oh yeah. Check that out. Topwater frog, baby. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, well you guys just witnessed this first fish of the day. Not a bad one on the topwater frog. There's, uh, they're definitely back up in the up in the corner spawning. So hopefully I can catch a few more. All right, gonna go for the release on this dude. Catch another one. See you later, little guy. All right, I think they're back in that corner. So we're gonna try the frog again. And here's the trick. So they're right back there. You, what you want to do is you want to cast on the bank and then bring it down because they're, I think they're spawning back there. So they're real close. So what you want to do, you want to take your frog, and you want to cast it way up on top of the grass. And you saw, I don't know if you guys could see where it landed, but it's up on top of that hill. So then you slowly bring it down, bring it slowly off the bank. Now it's in the water. Give it a couple twitches, and they should be there. There he is. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> He's calling my shots right here. Oh, that's a better one, too. That's even a better one. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. That's, that's a solid, like, two and a half right there. You guys can see there, I got another one on the topwater frog. I love it when they eat it like that. We're going to get a weight on this one just for fun. I know it's not a giant, obviously, but I just want to see what size the fish actually are. All right, so I got my, my real sonar scale here, the one that I always use. It's only like 20 bucks. Pretty accurate. We're sitting right at 218. Yeah, about not quite two and a half, about two and a quarter. Not a bad fish. Going to release them and get another one. I was going to show you guys the frog I'm using. This is the Spro Poppin' Frog. You guys know this is like one of my favorite ones. So, so far I've gotten two hits in the same area. I'm gonna go for three, and if I don't catch one, I'll throw in this corner. But again, remember what I said, when you're fishing these small ponds, you wanna get your bait up on the bank and then bring it down. That's the key. Throw it up on the bank, bring it down, see if you can get another one. Throw it way up on the bank, a couple feet. Now it's in the water. Does he have it? 
He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he came off. Oh, my God. That was at least a three-pounder. He came off. Oh, man. There's a bite. Got him. Got him. Feels like a smaller one, though. No, he's not that bad. He's actually a good fish. Yep. So what I've got here, this is my third landed fish. Ate the Senko this time. I'm going to get a quick weight on her. Quick weight on this fish, we got 220. Is that what that says? 220? Not a bad fish. There we go. There's a bass. Yep. That's the better one too. I'm gonna stay down. See, it's another another tip, especially for pond fishing. You just keep your rod tip down so they don't jump and lose them. That's a good fish. Yep, that's a really good one actually. It's the biggest one yet, I think. Go down. Look at that. Just fell. That Senko just fell right out. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest one so far. That's what I like to see, fellas. Nice, solid fish. Just caught, I believe this is like my fifth one. We're gonna get a weight on this girl. 2.54. It's definitely the biggest one so far. All right, we'll get a release on this girl here. I don't know if they're girls or guys. I'm assuming they're girls, but we'll see. Let's see what you got. Doesn't feel very big. Not too bad though, I don't think. We'll see. Oh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. There's another good fish. See you later, dude. Alright guys.